smart bacteria uh, it's a, a, a concept we use uh, for uh, the specific strains with the specific functions so uh, we 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 work with uh, basically with four uh, big groups or of of strains uh, the gut enhancers uh, they uh, elevate the microbiome uh, the gut managers they they work on the gut acid uh, we have uh, the pathogen invaders uh, they block unwanted invaders and we we have the immune communicators uh, they regulate the immune action So hello everyone, this is Luis Ferreira with the Dairy Nutrition Black Belt Podcast. Uh, and today we will be talking about uh, microbiology nutrition and to uh, share knowledge with us about this intriguing topic, uh, we have uh, Javier Alba. Uh, Javier is the director uh, for Priority LLC and he will be sharing uh, a lot of his experience about how to better utilize microbiology nutrition in the field. Uh, Javier, thank you so much for uh, joining us today. But before we dive into our questions for you, could you please provide the background about yourself? Yes, hello. Uh, glad to be here. Uh, I am uh, Javier Alba. I'm a veterinarian. I, I get my veterinary degree from the uh, Aguascalientes State University. This is in Aguascalientes, Mexico. It's central Mexico. Uh, I have uh, uh, 32 years uh, working with uh, dairy cattle here in, in, in central Mexico, in all the, the area of central Mexico. And working in, in a lot of topics uh, from, uh, in dairy, uh, mastitis control, uh, milk quality, and herd management, calf uh, reading, um, daily nutrition. So uh, I, I was uh, an associate professor in the Cuauhtémoc University here in Aguascalientes too. I, I teach the signatures animal nutrition, uh, daily science, and forage production. And uh, now uh, I am a, a microbiology nutritionist and I am an authorized consultant for Priority IAC uh, here in Mexico. Priority IAC, the only company bringing the fields of microbiology and nutrition together and the first ingredient in animal diets. Priority provides a more cost-effective and easier approach to nutrition. We recognize that not all bacteria are created equal. The specific strain truly matters. Priority IAC selects unique strains to provide the best performance in animals, and that's why we call these strains smart bacteria. Founded by Richard Brunig, helping to improve animal health one herd at a time. So, so Javier, how do you describe microbiology nutrition? So in seaports, what is it? Uh, microbiology nutrition, it's, uh, we, uh, we are bringing two fields together. Uh, the field of microbiology and nutrition together. Uh, how do we do this? Uh, it's, uh, we think microbiology, it's uh, very, very important in, in the ruminants uh, nutrition. Uh, I guess nutrition has been a, a, an ignored field uh, some, somehow. And uh, what we do with microbiology nutrition is... Uh, Put the, mic the, the correct microorganisms uh, first, and nutrition comes second. We we think that uh, we have to to have the the specific strains in the rumen first, and then we have to uh, feed them properly, give them the uh, the the proper nu nu nutrients, the proper elements. Uh, for the microbiologist to grow exponentially and, and have his uh, their uh, specific functions in digestion, in fermentation, and uh, that that's microbiology nutrition. It's combine the two fields, 
and uh, get them together and make them work uh, for the benefit of the cow. Within this context, how, how do you define smart bacteria? Yeah, uh, it's smart bacteria, uh, it's a, a, a concept we use uh, for uh, the specific strains with the specific functions. So uh, we, we, we work with uh, basically with four uh, big groups or, of, of strains. Uh, the gut enhancers, uh, they uh, elevate the microbiome. Uh, the gut managers, they, they work on the gut acid. Uh, we have uh, the pathogen innovators. Uh, they block unwanted invaders. And we, we have the immune communicators. Uh, they regulate the immune action. So uh, smart bacteria, uh, it's a, a concept that uh, include uh, this, this, this kind of strains uh, that have an, a specific function. And we, 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 put, we put them in the, in the rumen for, for working in, in specific actions for digestion, for uh, disease prevention, and for health for the cow. And how does that work for cattle in the field? Like, how do you determine the practical use of microbiology nutrition when going to a dairy farm? We, we have to remember the rumen is a, it's a fermenter. So mm, once we have the, the specific strains there, we, we look for, uh, for example, uh, prevent some metabolic diseases, like uh, one of the most uh, important is acidosis. And we, we work with acidosis. Uh, uh, we have to remember that uh, as, a, as a byproduct, as a, as a result of digestion of the carbohydrates, the, the utilization of the carbohydrates, we have uh, lactic acid. And that lactic acid, uh, it's a feed source. It's a, uh, a feed source for, for, the, for the microbes. But when, when those microorganisms are missing in the rumen, uh, we have a, a lactic acid accumulation. And, and that's when these, begin, uh, these become a problem for the cow. And, and we have acidosis. And for the, uh, for the correct use of lactic acid, uh, we put there the, the specific strains who, got, who, who have the, that function and, and help to utilize correctly that lactic acid and, and turn it into BFAs that result in energy for the cow and prevent the, the, the problem of acidosis, uh, making uh, some kind of uh, buffer action for the rumen the, in, in, in a natural way. And tell us a little bit more about how, how the nutrition principles uh, that support this way of feeding cows. Uh, we, we give a, a lot of importance uh, to, to the energy protein balance. And we have a, a, a set of, uh, of nutrition principles to support this microbiology nutrition in the farm. And... I can give you some examples. Uh, we we recommend we, we don't use straw or poor hay. Uh, why is that? Because uh, we try to to feed the cow with uh, uh, usable uh, nutrients. We we don't we don't want to give them uh, material that is uh, undegradable or or, or undigested. Uh, so. So we uh, don't use straw or poor hay. We, we, we work with ration density. We, we give them, uh, once we put the, the microorganisms in the, in the rumen, we can give uh, more energy in our rations and, and they work uh, on that lactic acid and, and avoid that lactic acid accumulation. Uh, we, uh, we have a, 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 a statement that is uh, nutrition feeds the microbiology and microbiology feeds the body. So, so 
We, we, we work, uh, like I said, the rumen is a fermenter and we, 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 we try to feed the, the organisms correct. Uh, one, 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 uh, another of the nutrition principles we use, it's uh, feed to an empty bunk. We try to, to make uh, the cow to eat all his TMR on a daily basis. So um, we try to, to have uh, that consistency in the feeding. So, so the cow has uh, food uh, in the bunk for 23 hours. And then every time we, we deliver uh, the TMR, uh, do it to an empty bunk. Uh, we recommend, uh, another of our principles, we recommend to feed 10% over the, the cow numbers. This is uh, because the, the fresh cows and the heifers uh, don't have the, uh, the necessary intakes in, in that stage of production. Uh, and, and the high producing cows, uh, it's a, li a, a little bit more. They, they have a high intake. So the high producing cows eat that 10% more. So we cover uh, every stage uh, when we manage a, a, a one, uh, one, one TMR group, we can, we can do that. Uh, about the protein, we, we recommend and we, we said that we can have the MUNs in single digits. Uh, this, is, uh, this is because uh, the, 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 uh, we don't have to, to give, to feed the cow uh, a lot of protein or unusable protein. Uh, we have to, to give it only the, the necessary protein and, and we, we can have the MUNs in single, di in single digits. Uh, we work uh, too with uh, all corn silage rations. We, we do it that way. We, uh, corn silage is, uh, can provide uh, the ration with uh, starch and with uh, fiber and there's no need again for uh, poor hay or straw, uh, and and we can uh, utilize the 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 space that don't use we don't use for for poor forages. We can use it for uh, energy in 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 another way. We can do it uh, a more dense ration. And we recommend uh, to to our producers uh, to to produce uh, to to produce their to harvest their forages wetter earlier, so so we can uh, use the fermentable fiber in in them. And this uh, has a, a, a lot of uh, advantages that we can uh, is uh, this brings us less mold and, and wild yeast issues. Uh, better fermentation and, and bring us uh, a, a more fermentable fiber. A little more about the, the MUNs in single in single digits. It's uh, we don't have to 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 give the to waste it and um, to to give protein that will be wasted and induced by the cow. And uh, we we produce more microbial protein. For the cow, the, it, it's uh, this brings us uh, uh, almost a uh, fifty uh, percent of crude protein for the cow, and, and it uh, makes our rations uh, uh, way cheaper. No, absolutely, a lot of very interesting uh, uh, principles and, and practices that uh, you are uh, adopting to make sure that the, the dairy herds. Uh, can succeed. Um, Javier, thank you so much for uh, joining us today. I'm sure people will be uh, really interested in uh, uh, some of this management that you shared with us. Uh, for you at home, uh, thank you for joining for another podcast and I hope to see you soon. Thank you. Thanks for having me.